Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com. I'm here at the LA Convention Center for the Los Angeles Auto Show. Let's go check it out. This is actually Auto Mobility. It is the uh, press event before the actual LA Auto Show. The LA Auto Show starts tomorrow, but uh, today it's uh, the press, which is me. And this is a three-wheel electric vehicle. One seater. Check it out. The new GT3 RS. <laughs> wow. It, it looked pretty good in the picture, but live it just looks stunning. I mean, completely stunning. This thing is. The thing I discover uh, with these racing bucket seats is. You just can't get in and out of the car gracefully. You gotta get with this hump. <laughs> yes. This is the dark car reimagine. Basically, it's a it's a 911 made for rallying, off-roading. So, this one is equipped with the same livery as in the original 1984 Rothman 911. Now, you notice it says Rothman's Porsche. And uh, back then, that was Porsche's sponsor, but you know, they haven't sponsored Porsche for a long, long time because, well, they're a cigarette company. All right, cigarette company don't go well today. So when they redid the livery, uh, you notice instead of saying Ruffman Porsche, it says Rough Rose. Rough Rose. I tell you one thing. Uh, it's definitely higher quality in, in a Taycan uh, than a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. You know, but then again, way more expensive, so you expect that. Porsche 963. Oh, yeah, that, that's a race car right there. <laughs> Long, slow, and sleek. I don't know if I could open it. Okay, yeah. Oops, oops. It's not, but this is just a mock up, it's not a working model, that's why. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's fake, it's, all, it's, it's not real. <laughs> I don't feel so bad about breaking it now. <laughs> this is the Zinger, Zinger 21C. That's right, and it, it holds several lap records. Quite a few, Laguna Seca, Circuit America, yeah, and it is a supercar. It is mostly 3D printed, like uh, it's actually made in LA. And check out the carbon fiber wheels. Everything's carbon fiber. It's a uh, tandem seating, so driver sits in the front, passenger sits behind the driver. And the most amazing feature, I can't really get in there. Is check it out, check out that engine, all those 3D printed parts. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. This is the 67 by Charge Car. I first saw this at South OC Cars and Coffee, and here it is at the LA Auto Show. So let's get a little closer look. Uh, this particular model has a matte blue paint job. And there you can check out the, uh, the dual motors. So it's got a motor in the front and uh, motors in the back. Completely redone interior. And this right behind there, no, normally be a rear seat, but it's been now taken up by the battery pack. Yeah, so this is not a uh, restore mod in any way because uh, this thing is completely redone. It shares absolutely no components with the original 1967 Mustang. Uh, yeah, it's a ground up bill. Body panels are made of carbon fiber. I believe the, uh, yeah, the charge port is here. It opens up at, I guess it's turned off, but yeah, that's the charge port. And everything is bespoke, completely redone. And I guess that's one of the reasons they try to justify the price 
$450,000 to start, so, which is a lot of money to pay for an electric Mustang, but I believe they're limiting it to 499 units, so there, there is that. Uh, 67 by charge car. Tiny cars. I mean, really tiny cars. <laughs> Look at this one. That's hilarious. <laughs> the bad burg. <laughs> Enter for the front. <laughs> oh my God, that's awesome. And then <laughs> your passenger face away from you. <laughs> That's great. Look at all these things. Look at this one. Looks like you can just took it over. Hell, I could probably push it over. It has, it has a, a motorcycle style steering wheel. Hey, look at the seat. <laughs> oh my God. That's hilarious. So check out this uh, electric dune buggy. Yeah, and then here you see the engine for it. So you can see there's the motor, the brakes, the inverter, and the battery. Not a very big battery, but you know, seeing that how small and light this thing is, it should give it some decent range. Yeah, it claims 300 miles of range. That's impressive. 300 miles of range, all of that, all of that motor and that battery. Clearly someone can drive. <laughs> Speaking of someone who can drive. This here is the VinFast VF9. And uh, for those who don't know, VinFast is a, a Vietnamese startup. So this is a Vietnamese company and this is their first electric car. They have a couple of them and this is a top line VF9. Uh, yeah, it's electric. So not, it has a front, but as you can see, not much space. Uh, I'm not sure why it has that ejection sheet. You can't fit in there. You can't get stuck in there. You can't fit in. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a big SUV, up to seven passenger. So check out the rear seat. This is set up for six seat configuration. So you got captain chairs in the middle and you got a seat back there. Looks very nice. And, and in the driver's side, uh, it looks like a Model Y. Like a very big Model Y. Ooh, big screen in the center. Yeah, it's a... It's, uh, and of course, a little monitor to monitor you. It looks quite nice. Um, yeah, it's a startup. And this is their other model right here. I really don't know what to make of this, except to say that it's very exotic. It's a opinion. <laughs> At least that's, that's what it says. Hyperon, but yeah, all, all glass, all glass. Open canopy, looks like a fighter jet. I mean, look at that, look at that. That's insane. All right, look, look at this inlet. Ugh, looks like a, some kind of turbine. <laughs> wow. That's pretty crazy. This thing is gigantic. It's huge. It's really kind of ridiculous. I mean, Hummer were supposed to be completely environmentally friendly, so they made a, a EV version, but, but guess what? It's also not very environmentally friendly. It has a 200 kilowatt battery, which is twice the size of a Tesla Model S, but its mileage or its range is still less than a Model S because this thing weighs 9,000 pounds. Yeah, 9,000 pounds. It's, it's, a, it's a whale. It's a hippo, whale, super whale, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, it definitely maintains the Hummer name of, of you know, saying screw you to the environment. K 
Cadillac's new EV, high-end EV. Cadillac thinks, for some whatever reason, they think they're, they can sell this thing for like $200,000. Um, yeah, I realize Cadillac in the old days cost more than a Rolls Royce, but uh, does Cadillac think they can sell today for Rolls Royce prices? I, I really don't know. But this is their, their new world conquering EV. Kia EV6. This is an interesting one. It's meant to compete with a Tesla Model Y and it has all the uh, ingredients to do it. Uh, very powerful, especially you get the GT version. It's pushing 500 horsepower, so it's every bit as fast as a Model Y performance. Uh, it, it looks good. It's very sleek. And it's locked, of course. Oh, oh well. This is the new C8 Corvette Z06. Chevrolet's track-ready Corvette, ready to take on the GT3. The Z06 exhaust can be adjusted in 2 dB increment. So you can go from quiet and then go 2 dB at a time. And it is at full loud. The thing is so loud that the Chevy engineer said that you can hear the car around the entire Nürburgring. And uh, just so you know, the Nürburgring is 13 miles long. Check it out. It's the Volkswagen ID Buzz. So the Michael Bus is back and it's electric. So this is a reimagined micro bus, the Volkswagen bus from way back when. And I have to admit, uh, this thing looks pretty cool. I mean, uh, it's, you know, minivans are not cool, but this minivan is cool. This is the new Genesis G90. It is Genesis top of the line sedan. It is also Motor Trend's car of the year. And this one is a beautiful matte white example. So. Check it out, it's basically Genesis is showing Lexus and the Germans how to make a real luxury car. Wow, once I opened the door, the seat went back. It looks like crystal, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow. It feels, it feels quality. Genesis GV60 is basically a luxury version of the Kia EV6. So, you know, if the, uh, the Kia is not luxurious enough for you, then the Genesis version definitely is because look at that, instead of plastic, you got leather, everything is high step up in quality. Yeah, with nice contrast stitching. You have the seats so just Alcantara, perforated leather. It's a globe. Yeah, it's an interesting design thing. Well, if I had the key, this thing supposed to yeah, rotate, roll over. Uh, roll over, but yeah, it's like glass and much higher quality than the EV6. Yes, definitely. Which is what it's based on, but this is like twice the price too. So you're definitely paying for all these extra luxuries. Exactly, and the door panel. And this represents the future of Genesis. <laughs> this is the new 2023 Lexus RZ, RZ is Lexus electric car. So you can see the, the new Lexus design language for the grill. It's, it's, it's missing, it's missing because it's electric car, it doesn't need it. So it looks like an RX, but check out the interior. Check out the yoke. That's right, it's just like a Tesla Model S, the yoke steering wheel. But unlike Tesla, the Lexus yoke is variable. So at low speed, at low speed, basically, you can, it turns the wheel more, and at high speed, it turns the wheels less, so it's variable. So you never have to do the hand over hand thing. It's basically 180 one way, one way the other way, and you can turn the whole car. So, much better job. It leans into a turn. So when you uh, corner, it, it leans into the corner like a motorcycle. <laughs> That's so cool. And here it is. Everyone's favorite tree hugger is back. It's the new, Toyota Prius. That's right, the Prius is back. <laughs> I can't believe it. And it actually looks incredibly sleek. I mean, that is damn sleek. That's a good looking Prius. Vehicle is locked. I don't know why, just a Prius. But anyway, uh, yeah, the Prius is back. And this is also the most powerful Prius ever made. Zero to 60 in 6.7 seconds, which uh, by today's standard is not that fast, but you know, 
15 years ago, that would be sports car level. And this is the fastest Prius ever. It's also the most efficient Prius ever. It gets the, uh, gets the best uh, gas mileage of any Prius. <laughs> the Prius. So look for, look for these things. They'll be clogging up the fast lane of the highway next year. Okay, so this is my coverage of the LA Auto Show down in Los Angeles. The show officially opens tomorrow, so if you're in the area, you can feel free to come down and check it out. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed my little tour. John Chow from JohnChow.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. Please like and share my videos, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.